You know, one of the main reasons I decided to go with the Tesla over all the other EVs was the fact that Tesla does have the largest charging network. But places like Chargeport and what have you are starting to catch up with as many, like, I don't know, charging stations. But not all charging stations are the same. As you can see here, I have to have an adapter to use this one. Which brings us to the topic of today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tommy's Tesla Tech and Travel. And you see, not all charging options are the same. It is not one size fits all. And these charge points are phenomenal. That's what we tend to use a lot in the past when we can't find a Tesla charger. But here's the catch. They're pretty slow. You might as well be charging at home with a NEMA 1450 outlet or just, you know, a 240 volt outlet. But we have something coming today that's gonna help us going forward. Where my wife works, they actually just recently installed some uh, EV goes, which actually can charge just as fast, if not faster than some of the Tesla superchargers. But you have to have a certain type of converter. And that's what we ordered today. Let's talk about it. Ooh, nice carrying bag. First impressions, that is very heavy. Here's a little instructional card that came with it, letting us know that we don't want to charge it in negative 22 degree Fahrenheit weather, but not to exceed 122 degree Fahrenheit weather. Only issue there is we're in Arizona. We have been above 122 before, but I guess I will not be charging that day. This is the side that plugs into your Tesla. This is your North American Standard Charging, or NACS. We turned around, now we have our CCS1. This is where things like EVgo and a lot of the other faster chargers utilize, like you know the Mustang Mach-E and a few other chargers. So this allows us to convert and use those ones in addition to the wide ranging Tesla charging platform. So now we pretty much can drive anywhere. So we gotta test it out and see how well this works. Here we are the next day going to go use our new CCS adapter to charge the car. One thing I wanted to point out was even though we're not going to a Tesla station, you still wanna precondition the battery. So I'm basically lying to the car and saying we're going to a Tesla supercharger, which is further away, but we're really going to an Electrify America stop. Because by not preconditioning your battery, you are setting yourself for failure in the long run. It could actually start to uh, degradate the battery a lot faster. Right, boys? Yeah. There you go. Right from the horse's mouth. Hey, Chuck, what kind of truck do you see? A Rivian. A Rivian? Yep. What kind of electric car? Maki. It is a Maki. Oh. He's my son. How does he know all the cars? And here it is. One side is your standard Tesla, North American charging standard. And the other side is the CCS. Let's see how well this works. Okay, round two. Since the first time, didn't want to work. So now it's our second time trying, and it just doesn't want to read my account. Back in trusty Eloy, Arizona, off Toltec Road, using their charging stations here. So we attempted to use that Electrify America, but it just did not like my payment methods, which is weird, because I literally just updated it. It just wouldn't recognize any card, any... Like, I tried to use the nfc reader on my card to use something there no go try to use the physical card itself even the app kept telling me that the bay was still available even though i was plugged in and it read my car court wow we're gonna try again another spot but right now we're gonna try the trusty one because we're trying to drive to phoenix and i'm trying to get there with 10 percent power just to find somewhere to charge close by to the restaurant so regular charging stop here which is free i was trying to pay the money they still didn't want my <laughs> my car to work now charge here Head up, have lunch, and we'll see about charging it at an EV Go or Electrify America on the way back. So no time for you has passed, but it's now the next day for me. We're now gonna go try a different char charger. I believe this time we're gonna try the EV Go. Cause when we tried yesterday with the Electrify America, no matter what payment method I tried to use, it would read my car, but wouldn't let me proceed with the actual charging. Um, I'm pretty sure it was the bay that we were using was messed up because it would connect to the car but it wouldn't actually do anything. And I have a membership to EVgo, or Electrify America. I also have one to EVgo, and there's one over on the other side of town. So we're gonna go try that while we're running errands today. Hopefully this wasn't a wasted adapter. Hopefully it works with this new one. If not, they're gonna find out, and here are my thoughts. Just like we talked about yesterday, make sure you precondition your battery if you're gonna do supercharging. Although we're not going to a supercharger, we wanna trick the car into thinking we are. However, there's not an option just to really just turn on the preconditioning. You have to say you're going to a Tesla supercharger. So Tesla, if you're listening to this or someone watches this by chance, we would love to see an option to say precondition the battery for us instead of having to just put on the charger. Or put on the charger's destination. So this is already off to a much better start. At the last one, the charging side and the cable were conflicting, so it barely reached. This one's gonna be right there next to it. So 
let's get out and see if this is working. So just to recap, we have a CCS to the Tesla charger and we're gonna go hook it up and see if it works this time. And unlike yesterday, we used an Electrify America. Today we're using EVgo. Let's see if we get a better opportunity and better connection here. It looks to be the same steps, so let's try it and see what happens. Already much better than yesterday. That was easy to use and manipulate with one hand. They actually have a string on there to allow it to change. So, I plug in, just connect it there. Come over here, and it shows it's kinda ready. He uses one of these methods. Okay, well. Okay, now it's trying to do something. It's it's connecting to my vehicle. The whole point of this is supposed to be easier and opening up a whole new gamut of charging for us. So far, it's been a royal pain and I don't get it. And according to the EV app, these don't exist, but obviously they do. I mean, we have an ID4 here, a mach -E, and another car right next to us as well. So, I mean, these are working, they're charging here. All right, we got this warning saying that charging parameters are not started. So, I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. And I don't know how well you guys can see it. It's still saying one step one of three, charging, exchanging information. I'm, I'm ready to give up because I got milk in the car and everything else. I was hoping this would go a little bit quicker and easier, but apparently I was 100% wrong. So now it's twice we've tried to use this charger that we purchased from Amazon. And both times we were unable to charge at all. If I'm doing something wrong, I would love for you guys to let me know in the comments. And I hope it's just an easy step I'm missing, but I don't think I am. So, so far, this was kind of a waste. I'm glad we didn't buy the $150 plus one from Tesla. We bought the $70 one on Amazon that had four and a half stars out of five. So, like I said, if I'm doing something wrong, please y'all let me know. Because as of right now, I'm going to look at returning this. Not too happy with that. All right, guys. Well, thanks for taking another ride with us. Let's take another ride again soon. Hopefully, we'll take a ride where we can charge on a different EV besides Tesla. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye, everybody.